Prime Minister Peter O'Neill confirmed the invitation to visit Indonesia was from President Susilo Bengbeng Yudhoyono. It will be a historic visit, one that will strengthen bilateral ties between the two nations, partnership agreement in trade and investment high on the agenda. It's important that we continue to uh, maintain a uh, very constructive uh, dialogue uh, between the two countries. And this partnership, uh, uh, comprehensive partnership agreement will uh, capture uh, many of those uh, issues uh, in terms of the bilateral relations between the two countries in economic and uh, other people-to-people -people, uh, uh, links that will be uh, uh, continued to be uh, encouraged and established. A number of state-owned enterprises, MOUs, will be signed, including direct flights to Jakarta via Air New Guinea, which is set to take effect in August. People-to-people -people links will also be discussed in areas like education, sports and youth empowerment. Friendly relations with Indonesia will soon see Papua New Guinea become part of the ASEAN APEC community. On the West Papua issue, he hinted that the Indonesian president was open to discussions. The government will fully work closely with, in a very open dialogue uh, with the Indonesian government in finding a uh, long-term solution and a way forward for our people in, in West Papua. So uh, I look forward to having those discussions with the president. Meanwhile, he said fugitive Joko Jandra remains a citizen of PNG until the courts say otherwise. The high-power delegation is expected to leave this Sunday for the three-day bilateral visit to Jakarta. Meredith Kusa, National, MTV News.